In this video, the following topics will be discussed. Familial roots are very important in Chinese culture. To date, many Chinese can still trace their ancestral roots hundreds or even thousands of years. But how is it possible? The Hundred Family Surnames, commonly known as Bai Jiu Xing, is a classic Chinese text composed of common Chinese surnames. The author is unknown but the book was believed to be compiled during the Song Dynasty. In the original book, there were 411 Chinese surnames. It was later increased to 504. There were 444 single character surnames and 60 compound character surnames. Together with the three character classic, thousand character classic, these three books were some of the first few books that children in ancient China had to read. They served as instructional books for children, becoming the almost universal introductory literary texts for students, almost exclusively boys, from elite backgrounds and even for a number of ordinary villagers. When a student managed to learn all three texts, he would have a vocabulary of about 2,000 Chinese characters which would suffice for most people. The Hundred Family Surnames is a poem that rhymes. Each line in the poem consisted of eight Chinese characters. The first four surnames in the rhyme represented the most important families in the Song Dynasty at the time. Many Chinese characters are homophones. Homophones are two or more words having the same pronunciation but different meanings, origins, or writing. During the transliteration process of Chinese characters into English, the same English word was often used for different Chinese characters. For example, Wang could mean more than two different surnames. To make things complicated, the English transliteration of different dialects were used. This issue, amongst other issues, have been discussed in another video. Click on link above. Chinese surnames are believed to have come about from one of the following situations. 1. Some people use the name of their ancestor's totem as their surname. 2. Some people use a character from their ancestor's name as their surname. 3. Some people use the name of the place or country they were given as their surname. 4. Some people use their job or official title as their surname. 5. Some people use the name of a mountain or river as their surname. 6. Some people use the direction of their home as their surname. 7. Some people use the name of their tribe as their surname. 8. Some people use a special event at their birth as their surname. 9. Some people use their ancestor's posthumous title as their surname. 10. Some people change their surname to avoid disaster, enemies, taboo, or suspicion. For example, it would be sentenced to death if your surname contained the same character as the emperor's name. 11. Some people receive their surname from the emperor. 12. Some people use numbers, order of birth, or elements from the traditional Chinese calendar as their surname. 13. Some ethnic minorities change their surname to a Han Chinese surname. 14. Some Han Chinese people change their surname to an ethnic minority surname. 15. Some people have surnames from certain ethnic minorities. The 500-odd Chinese surnames from 100 family surnames is but the tip of the iceberg. There are many more Chinese surnames that are not listed. But how many are there? The number is a staggering 23,818 Chinese surnames. This figure was given by Yuan Yida and Chiu Jiaru. The two men spent 40 years researching and collecting rare surnames in China and published them in their book, A Lexicon of Chinese Surnames. The two researchers pored over ancient Chinese texts, archaeological finds and modern-day population census data. Out of the 23,813 Chinese surnames, 
6,931 were single character surnames, 9,012 were two character surnames or compound surnames, 4,850 surnames with three characters, 2,276 surnames with four characters, 541 surnames with five characters, 142 surnames with six characters, 39 surnames with seven characters, 14 surnames with eight characters, seven surnames with nine characters, one surname with 10 characters. More statistics. The surname with the fewest strokes has one stroke, and the surname with the most strokes has 30 strokes. Besides the Han Chinese, all of the 55 minority ethnic groups in China use Chinese character surnames. Currently, there are over 7,000 types of surnames still in use in China, with Han Chinese and minority ethnic group surnames each making up about half of this number. There are some rare Chinese surnames still in use. The following surnames are based on an article published in the Taipei Times. Tiger Ant Lock Bai But The following is the original text of the hundred family surnames classified into single character and compound character surnames. Zhao Qian Sun Li, Zhou Wu Zheng Wang, Feng Chen Chu Wei, Jiang Shen Han Yang, Zhu Qin You Xu, He Lü Shi Zhang, Kong Cao Yan Hua, Jin Wei Tao Jiang, Qi Xie Zhou Yu. 白水豆章，云苏潘葛，稀饭蓬狼，鲁维昌马，苗凤花方，渔人袁柳，风暴史堂，废莲岑薛，雷赫泥汤，藤英罗毕，好屋安长，月余石富，皮变齐康。五鱼元补，故梦平黄。和睦消隐，姚少战汪。其毛与敌，米被名脏。祭服成代，弹送毛旁。雄迹疏屈，向助董梁。杜软兰敏，袭击麻强。甲路楼威，江童盐锅。梅胜林雕，钟徐秋落，高下菜田，樊胡林货，余万之科，攒管龙墨，京房求庙，丹谢英宗，丁轩奔邓，玉扇行红，包珠左石，崔吉扭弓，乘机行华，裴禄荣翁。浔阳余晦，真屈家风。瑞义楚晋，吉丙弥松。锦断富屋，乌郊八公。木葵山谷，车侯福鹏。泉西班养，秋种一公。宁求鸾豹，干斗丽容。祖武伏流，景瞻树龙。夜性思韶，告离寂薄。印素白怀，蒲台从恶。所贤极赖，着令图蒙。石桥阴郁，须能苍霜。纹身党宅，谈共牢旁。机身浮堵，然载利庸。戏曲桑桂。蒲牛兽通，边户烟寂，贾朴尚浓。温别庄宴，柴渠严冲。木莲如席，患爱于荣。相古意甚，歌料语中。
，寄居横部，都耿满红，匡国文寇，广路缺东，欧书沃利，魏越夔龙，师拱涉孽，朝沟敖容。冷子心看，那简饶空；曾无杀孽，养居虚风。朝官蒯相，扎后惊鸿。游逐全路，盖一环宫。莫骑司马，上官欧阳，夏侯诸葛，文人东方。赫连皇甫，尉迟恭阳。谭台公也，宗正濮阳，淳于单于，太叔申屠，公孙仲孙，轩辕灵狐，钟离宇文，长孙慕容，先于闾丘，司徒司空，机关司寇，长都子居，专孙端木，乌马公西，七雕月正，攘四公梁，拓跋家谷，宰父谷梁。晋楚言法，汝焉屠亲？断竿百里，东郭南门，呼延归海，羊舌微生。月帅勾抗，况后有秦。梁丘左丘，东门西门，商谋舌二，博赏南宫。莫哈乔达，年爱杨同。第五言符。百家姓中 ，end of poem. As of 2024, the top 10 surnames in China are As of 2022, the top 10 surnames in Taiwan are The top ten surnames in Japan are the top ten surnames in South Korea are the top ten surnames in Vietnam are. In the year 2000, the top three surnames among the Chinese population in Singapore were Tan, Lim, and Li. Since the Singaporean government registers Chinese surnames using romanization, surnames like Ng could represent different Chinese characters such as Huang, Wu, or Wu. Therefore, only the top three surnames are listed for clarity. According to the source from Soyu.com. The top 10 surnames among the Chinese population in Malaysia in 2020 were. If you like the work that has been done, please drop a like and subscribe. Thanks.